Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Capshack here. Welcome to a quick video on how to install the latest version of X3 Albion Prelude's uh, Star Wars mod, Star Wars Reborn. So, what we're doing today is we're gonna install the latest version. Now, this version just came out as of the 31st. There will be a link in the description to actually download the mod. If you don't know, X3 is a big space sim game if you've never played it before. I've actually done like a mini campaign of it a bit when the mod first came out, and now I'm waiting for the 1.0 release to do a proper campaign. Uh, but 9.9.8 uh, is out. Uh, it adds a few new ships, and he's reworked, uh, I guess, a lot of the background bits. So we can go ahead and click that. The link to downloading this is in the description below, and you can pick up X3 Albion Prelude, of course, on Steam. Uh, we already have it, and I've just done a fresh install of it. I haven't even launched it yet. So I'm going to take you through the basics on how to install. Let's get to it. All right, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, download the game. The game is about 2.8 gigabytes, I believe. 2.4 gigabytes, there it is. Uh, so you go to, if you've never used ModDB before, uh, it'll probably drop you on this page, which is the main page for the mod. If you click Files at the top, and then find the latest version, there it is, 0.9.8. This is the only file that you're gonna need. Go ahead and click that, uh, and then you can click Download and Download it. There'll be a pop-up that comes up if the mod, if it doesn't automatically download, just click this link at the top and then it will come up and you will be able to download it. Let's go ahead and kill that advertisement. So once you get X3 installed, you need to go to where the game is uh, installed. So you need to go to the install folder. Now I recommend going to your library, uh, look up X3, you know, find it in your list of games. There it is, properties. If you go to local files and browse local files, this will actually open your install directory for X3. Of course, uh, this is located in your Steam's folder, Steam Apps Common X3 Terran Conflict. And this is where you're going to put the the mod. So we'll go ahead and open up the zip. We've already downloaded the mod. Uh, I don't, it'll, you know, it'll vary on how long it takes for you to download it because it's pretty, pretty crazy large. Let's go under X3 Terran Conflict. These are the folders that you need. This is the actual game here. You don't need, let me go back. You don't need any of this. There is a readme file in here. Uh, to walk you through the install instructions. I recommend you read this anyways. This will also tell you what's recently been added uh, in 9.8. He's added a bunch of new ships, and I think where you can find those ships. So, all right, let's go ahead though. We'll go back under Terran Conflict. We'll grab the mod. Now this does not go in the add-ons folder like some mods do. You're actually going to drag and drop the sucker uh, directly into the Terran Conflict folder like so, and then let it run. Uh, it's going to ask you once this is done if you can overwrite some files and you're going to go ahead and say yes. Now, this mod actually has a couple of extra mods inside it uh, that comes with this mod, one of them being the bounce script. Uh, there's also a script for the X-Wing, uh, what like the X-Wing wings opening up and closing. And I'm going to show you how to get those set up as well at the end of this tutorial once we get the game loaded up. It's actually fairly easy to install. Uh, once you've done this once, you, you do it every time. Once this gets to 0.1 version, that's when I think I'm gonna start my proper let's play of this, which I'm pretty excited for, so. All right, are you done yet? And through the magic of editing, it is now extracted. So in any second now, it should ask me, hey, do you wanna overwrite these files? There it goes, it's actually moving it in there. And we'll say yes. There we go. All right, it's all installed. Do I wanna replace these files? I would like to replace these files. Go ahead and let that wrap up. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. We've got it in there now, and we can look in and see that this goes all the way up to 13. I will put a link in the description to the mod author's YouTube channel. He does have a guide on how to install this as well. It's got a lot of white noise on it, though. It might be a little bit hard to understand, so I've decided today to just make a quick install video to answer a lot of your guys' comments. So, all right, we've installed the mod. We're good to go. Let's open it now and see if we did it properly. So I'm going to go ahead and run this get it launched, and then we'll go into some of the extra options in the mod that you need to do to get it functioning perfectly. Uh, a few things that you need to set key bindings to so you can use the new functionality that the mod author, mod offers. All right, um, let's just start it. Let it run at whatever the default is. We've already seen a splash screen. Obviously something is working properly. Hit escape. I like it, I like the new splash screens. Swanky. And this is how you know you did it right. You're gonna have the Imperial Space Station in the background, a Super Star Destroyer back there, and a few ships passing overhead. And we should hear their music playing. I don't know if you can hear that, it's probably really, really low. 
the Lambda Shuttle and the TIE Fighters passing by. Now, when you go to new game, you have quite a few options for different starts. It is a sandbox game at, a, at, at its heart, right? So where you start and what kind of character you want to play, this is where you're going to decide that. But it's really up to you to figure out what your goals are. Alliance Peacekeeper will give you the beginning Rebel start. You'll actually get the um, the campaign to play through. I believe Imperial Conscript and Imperial Commander will give you the same thing, but on the Imperial side, though these might, I think there's a little bit of a flight to get to like where that campaign actually starts. We're gonna jump, Clone Wars Veterans now one too. Aha. Uh, we're gonna jump right into the Alliance Peacekeeper start so we can mess around with the X-Wing. Let's just skip this intro movie. Um, and I'll show you how to get the, the S-Foils opening and closing. I believe it's just the different versions of the X-Wings that have this mode. So you're not gonna get uh, wings opening and closing on like the V-Wing or any of that jazz. So it would be really cool to have the wings opening and closing on say uh, a Victory Class Star Destroyer, but I don't think he's implemented that. Um, he's got bigger priorities as he's flushing out the universe. Now in that zip file that I originally opened, there was an image file inside that zip. And that we should have the campaign about to start on here. Uh, that's actually the map of the universe because the universe has changed. So it might be kind of spoilery. There's the campaign. So that's where it is. And we are indeed inside our swanky X-wing with R2 in the back, back there. Um, yeah, so that that's a map. If you want to see like where the new systems are, because he's got Coruscant in here and he's got a couple of the other Star Warsy planets that you can actually go and land on, which is something new for the game. Uh, but I personally like to do the exploration myself and finding his things that he's added, especially the new systems, is kind of part of the fun, so. All right, uh, let's see if my joystick is set up. I don't know what my controls are right now because this is a completely fresh install. Uh, let's go ahead and go into the options menu. So I'm gonna hit escape. We're gonna go into controls. And this is the first thing that you need to do when you install this mod is go into controls. Where's my mouse? Scroll down under interface, and you'll have all of these unbound keys down here. These are added through the uh, the mod now, uh, the mods that you have currently installed. The ones that you need to worry about when you're first playing this is you want to toggle bounce. This is going to turn the bounce script on. Now, bounce script was made by a guy named Litcube, um, awesome mod author. I'll just set this to my joystick key ten. Uh, and what this does is, in normal X3, there's a huge problem with ships running into each other, running into stations, and impacts will get your ships killed. Bounce script fixes this uh, to a degree. It makes it so they'll they'll turn away from each other. They'll kind of bounce away from each other if they get too close. Now, it doesn't mean you're not going to have, you know, TIE fighters every once in a while randomly running into the side of a ship, but it will lessen that by a great degree. So. Make sure you turn that into a button. Once you have it set as a button, uh, go ahead and hit it, and you'll get a little bounce has been enabled at the bottom, little little thing pop up there. So we'll hit it again just so you guys can see it. There you go. That way you know the bounce script has been enabled, and you're set on that. Now let's go back into controls. There's one other thing that we probably want to mess around with. Uh, interface. I'll just use my mouse here and scroll down. And open. X-Wing open and close wings. Now this only works if you have an R2 unit in the back of your X-Wing, or it's just not going to work, because I guess it's the script is attached to that somehow to make that work. So we'll go ahead and grab that up. Uh, we'll just push this button. Doesn't really, oh, we gotta hit add control. I'll hit a button on my, on my joystick. That's fine, apply. I'm going to reset all of this. Uh, is there anything else here? No, those are scripts that I believe I installed. Or are those attached to the mod now? I don't know. I don't know if if these are in your install, um, especially the, uh, where is it? Oh, I thought I saw the missile defense one. I guess not. Yep, oh, there it is, missile defense. If this is installed into yours already, that's amazing. Uh, make sure you bind that one too, because that's just a really great script to defend yourself. I'm pretty sure that's still installed from when I I uh, added that script myself because you can put mods in. Ooh, is that a new ship back there? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I haven't been in the mod in a while. Uh, let's go ahead and give the S-Foil a try. Oh, it looks like he's fixed the, the view of R2. You can actually see him back there. By the way, R2 is a, a missile defense turret. He acts just like one. He's got a little lightning bolt that'll come out of him that can shoot down missiles if you tell him to do so in the command menu if you hit Shift-C. This is your current ship's uh, command menu, and you can actually tell him he's considered a turret. So you go to turret, 
and say, hey, why don't you go ahead and take out any missiles that come nearby, and R2 will do that. He'll also repair your hull if you take hull damage, but you've got to uh, get out of combat, I believe, and maybe go into cruise mode, which is where you close your S-foils, which we're gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna hit the button. That was a little weird. There was an X-Wing for a second just in front of us. I've never seen that before. So we'll open and close our wings a couple of times and see if it does it again. It didn't do it again. There's a little funkiness with how the script works. There we go, we're in cruise mode. Uh, because it's it's basically spawning you into a new ship, a new model, is what I how I think they've scripted this. So that's why everything kind of resets for a second when you do it. But. There you go. With your S-foils closed, you're going to be able to go uh, quite a bit faster. This makes the X-Wing one of the most useful ships in the game, especially as a, a, a player fighter. So I absolutely love it. I think it's really cool, and it really fits with the lore, right? Like, this is the superiority fighter. But there you go. You guys are all set now to play some X3 Albion Prelude. If I screwed something up in the tutorial, or if there's more information that you guys want, let me know. Uh, you know drop your questions in the comments below. I could always remake another one of these when the next version comes out, maybe make it a little bit more direct. Uh, but, you know, I hope that helped you guys jump into it. If you want to see more tutorials like this, I may do some for Sins of a Solar Empire and Empire at War, uh, but we'll see how this one goes first. So, all right, guys, let's put it into cinematic mode and casually watch our ship float away. I don't remember how to turn off my UI. And there she is. Later, everybody.